this is Leslie with Black Dog Vintage and I am in a town called Holly, Michigan. It's a historic town. It's about 45 miles north of Detroit and I'm with Angel and we are hanging out because the place that I need to pick up an auction from isn't open for a little bit. So I stopped at an antique store and we're gonna go in, we're gonna check it out and um, we'll see what happens. We'll see if we find anything. So hopefully we will. I was here um, at a different antique store uh, about six, eight months ago and uh, found some really great items. That antique store is closed right now. Maybe it'll be open a little bit later um, and maybe we'll stop there um and we'll see what we can find hopefully we'll find some good stuff um i'm picking up auctions at another place auction win at another place a little bit later too so maybe we'll stop at another thrift store or antique store and we'll do um you know we'll find some more thrift with me stuff so hope Fully. And then we'll have to take Angel out for like a little walk or something. So... So this antique store had some great pieces. They had a lot of jewelry here. In fact, this is probably where I got a majority of my jewelry while I was out and they had some really nice antiques too. And it was much larger when you got inside than when you, um, you know, than from what you saw on the outside. Um, but they had really cute selection. They also had a lot of things that were not vintage in some of the booths, but um, I tried to stick to the booths that were mostly vintage. Um, but they had some really fun, fun things, some old photos, um, some really cute wall fixtures, um, some, uh, some jewelry that was maybe not as old as what I usually like, but they had some really fun stuff. They even had some like old toys. There was uh, a whole section in here that was like vintage Hot Wheels. Oh, here's an old Tom Jones, um, album. I think my mom had that actually, uh, they had great little trinket boxes and stuff, and you know I actually considered getting some of those. Well, I loved this booth. Um, they had a lot of peacock feathers and peacock things, and I collect peacock anything. Um, so I actually considered buying a few things out of this booth. I actually wanted to get that fan, and then there was a, a picture that was actually not vintage, and I think I'll show it here. Oh, that one. I wanted to get that. I came so close to that. And then there was another one, which I think I'll show in a second. Um, and I wanted to get that, that other one too. That was a cool bird cage. Thought that was that one was kind of fun. Um, and then uh, I think I'm gonna show it, the peacock thing in a second. Oh yeah, this one right here. Um, I thought that was really, really pretty. And it said something like peacock cottage or something along those lines. Um, but that was a really fun booth. I really liked that one. And uh, they had some really pretty pieces, some like um, some of those bags and then also some other really pretty like trinket boxes and all of that in that booth. Um, but overall, this was probably one of the better antique stores that I've been to in a long, long time. They had some really, really nice pieces. Um, this vendor I bought so much from. The prices were great. They had a um, just a beautiful selection of pieces. Uh, as you can see, there were some just really cool items. Uh, I actually bought those leaves. Um, there were some things mixed in there that was not very vintage, uh, but there was a lot of really pretty pieces at really, really reasonable piece, at prices. And I was really excited to see that. As you can see, as I'm going um, down, uh, they did have some Pandora pieces, which I don't consider vintage. Some people might, and I know there's a lot of Pandora collectors, but I don't think um, it's many of the people that watch my channel, but I could be wrong. If you love Pandora, please let me know. Um, I would love to know if any of you guys uh, are Pandora people, because I will pick it up. I mean, I just need to know what people like and you know I will find it in my sourcing 
Uh, but there are so many other fun stuff in here. Uh, some great vintage brooches. Um, I did get, there were some cameos that you might have seen at the beginning. I did grab those too. Uh, there were some rhinestone pieces. There were some other really cute collectible items that I found. Um, I did grab that hat pin. I've been really into hat pins lately. I did grab that. Um, so that one was fun. Um, some other cute little bar pins were in there. I don't think I grabbed that one though. But that was a really good booth for jewelry. This I thought was a really clever idea. This was in another booth. They actually found little um, bracelet blanks, I guess those would be considered. And that those were old cluster earrings that they made into or glued onto those bracelet blanks and made them into a really cool upcycled bracelet. Um, I loved this booth. I've been really into the big funky rings lately. So I picked up a few of these. Everything in this booth was 30% off. So it was just a really great deal. Some of the rings were sterling silver. Some were not. I ended up picking up, I think, four of those rings and uh, just had a blast with them. Really cool stone necklaces as well. Okay, so the last place I went to was called the Village Farmhouse and I forgot to show you the building. It was super cute. So now I'm in like the actual downtown, downtown area and there's a place called Holly Antiques and Willow Exchange. Now the person at Village Farmhouse told me to go to Willow Exchange because they also own that one. And um, so I need to go there and then I've been to Holly Antiques. That's the one that I said I went to. And I'm gonna go there because I had a lot of luck there. So I'm gonna hit those two places. I can't be too long because I need to do another auction pickup. That place is like an hour and a half from me. And Angel's going a little crazy because there's a lot of people around. But once I leave the car, she'll settle down. So, um, cause she's just a little protective. Um, so we'll see what I can find. Okay, so I'm coming up here on the Willow Exchange, and it is an absolutely adorable shop. Sorry about the wrong angle on the camera here, but this is the front uh, front area where they had some beautiful jewelry, and the rest of the store was similar to the other one, except it had more new items, so not so much vintage or antique, but a lot more giftware. But there were some booths that had a lot more um, jewelry or antique items. But for the most part, this was more of a gift store as opposed to an antique store. But overall, it was still a really cute shop. And it had really cute items like these little head vases. And it had um, very similar booths to the other store, which made me think that maybe it was some of the same vendors. I really like this art glass uh, paperweight. This one was really, really pretty. Um, and this booth had some really pretty uh, stone jewelry, very similar to the one booth at the other place that had stone jewelry. So I kind of think it might have been the same vendor, not really sure but um, this one had some really pretty pieces. A lot of those did actually look like they might have been strung recently by maybe a craft person or an artisan or something along those lines, but some really pretty pieces there. Um, some really nice necklaces in this area. I did actually pick up that particular necklace. Uh, that one was really pretty, um, nice painted beads there. Uh, I did look at some of the other ones, but they were not as nice. That one I almost picked up, but those beads were plastic. Uh, so I did not grab that one. But there were some other really pretty pieces in this in this whole lot of jewelry. But um, most of them were plastic or more artisan made. So I didn't really go for a lot of them. But I was really tempted. I will say that. I was very tempted by... A lot of these necklaces because they were really really pretty um so i you know there was some f a fair amount of jewelry isn't this a cute little towel like it's so adorable so i'm heading to this holly antiques here and um we'll see what we can find i found some really cute stuff at the last one uh just a couple but um we're gonna head into holly antiques and see what we can find 
Okay, I really love this antique place. Um, I really enjoy it. I've been here a couple times and they just really have a nice, nice, nice selection. I really love this booth. This booth was great. They had some really, really uh, great, great pieces. But the prices, unfortunately, were a little high in this particular booth. I was absolutely in love with that little um, kind of speckled, um, almost Easter egg looking bracelet. And that unfortunately was plastic. Um, and this booth here, I actually found a lot of really cool pieces in this booth. There were some really pretty um, necklaces, a lot of great brooches in here and uh, quite a few uh, just really nice pieces and very, very reasonably priced. Um, I really do like it when antique funders are reasonably priced because that leaves me room. Um, so really cool pieces. Uh, sometimes I, you know, I, I'm wondering where some of these vendors are getting their jewelry because I want to find that place. Um, but yeah, this vendor had some really nice pieces. They, I, I actually got a Weiss out of this booth, which um, I was surprised to have found. But yeah, there was some really, really cool pieces here. So as you can see, but there were also some brand new pieces mixed in. So you do have to be careful if you're new at finding jewelry. Um, I have often seen brand new uh, like rhinestone pieces, crystal pieces, that type of thing, mixed in with the very, very beautiful vintage pieces. So you do have to know what you're looking for and, and you have to know what you, um, you know, know what you're buying. So you do have to be careful. So uh, definitely buyer beware when it comes to that. Um, here's another booth that had some really beautiful pieces here as well. This booth had a lot of Miriam Haskell pieces. Um, and, uh, the prices were quite high on the Miriam Haskell, but, you know, honestly, rightly so. Some of the pieces, I mean, were definitely priced where they should be. Um, but some absolutely gorgeous Miriam Haskell. Um, I hadn't seen that nice of a collection in a long time, to be honest, and, uh, really made me want to find more Miriam Haskell because this collection was just so, so insanely beautiful. Um, and then when I went upstairs, I found something that I absolutely could not live without. Uh, this little jacket blouse thing um, is right up my alley and I had to pick it up. I had to, I had to buy it. Um, if you look at it, this is the back of it. Um, that is me all the way. Um, I don't normally dress up very much, but I absolutely had to buy that for myself. So I don't know what I'll wear it to, but I'm going to wear it. So Angela and I are home now and we are going to do an unboxing or I'm going to do an unboxing. I don't think Angel has thumbs to be able to help with the unboxing of all the jewelry. And um, so I got a lot. So between the auction wins that we picked up and the stuff I bought at the store, um, we're going to do... Uh, an unboxing and hopefully we'll get through it all. Hopefully this video won't be too long and uh, there's lots of good stuff. So this should be fun. Okay, so <laughs> everything is in these bags. So we're gonna, I'm gonna empty out the bags first cause it's gonna make a lot of noise. Plus I already kind of emptied out these. Um, these are the Jade Bengals, which I already tested and there's gonna be a story there. And um, yeah, so this is everything. I'll empty this out first, and then we will get to going through everything. Okay, let's get down to business. We have a lot of stuff to go through, and um, a lot of these are auction wins. Some of these are from the uh, store, so I'm gonna try to go through things. Or maybe we'll try to go through, through things from the store first. Um, this piece, probably one of, we'll go through, probably this is one of my favorite ones first. Um, look at this. This is just an incredible brooch. Uh, have not done any research on this one, of course, yet, because I just got home. Um, but this is absolutely gorgeous. Look at, there's like a little bit of a green tinge in the large stones on this. And this is the back. 
I have not done any research on this. This is just an incredible, incredible piece. So I can't wait to find out more about it. Um, don't, I don't know. I don't know what this might be. There could be a few different ones, but I am not sure what this could be, but it is literally stunning. So that is just an incredible piece. So that one was a great, great find. Um, then, to open up, she put all of these in nicely wrapped paper. Some angel hair scratches on here. Um, and then, let's see here. This piece here, look at that. That's a really pretty little leaf. Some of these had been on cards, so I didn't really get to see if they were marked or not. I just really thought they were kind of pretty. Um, I loved the leaf with the AB stones. So that one was really kind of a cool piece. Um, oh, then is, I fell in love with the pieces in this booth. Now these, I don't know if they're sterling or not. They were a decent price and I just thought they were cool. This one is this beautiful piece with dichroic glass. I didn't see any marks. So I'm going to assume it's not sterling, but we're gonna just do a quick little test on them um, and just see. So, um, scratches let's see It'd be kind of cool if it was sterling there's the scratch marks let's see and here's my 18 karat solution I got a new solution and oh, it does it goes away right away so not it is not sterling but it is a very, very, very kind of amazing ring here. And uh, this one is dichroic, uh, big, huge dichroic cabochon. This one is a size nine. Isn't that awesome? Beautiful piece. Absolutely beautiful ring. So it is costume, but an amazing costume piece. Look at the details on that. Oh, I'm in love. I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love. Just an amazing, amazing piece. Um, and then look at that one. So that one's amazing also. Um, this one does say 925. So we'll test this. This one is a size, about a size, almost, almost nine, maybe eight and three quarters. Um, that one almost fits there. I mean, I could get it on, but I don't want to struggle getting it off here. So let's see if this one. Good scratch. Let's see. And that is, oh, um, yeah. It's got, it's definitely turning blue. Yeah, it is turning blue. So that is sterling. So, all right, so we got one sterling. And let's go. I'm gonna use the paper to, um, to wipe it. Okay. okay, so that's sterling. So that's pretty awesome. So that's a really cool sterling and glass ring love that one that's beautiful absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous okay so then we have this one which is an amazing druzy and um it's got that little bit of brown on there but that's just right in there on the druzy this one is also marked 925 so let's check this one. Got a good, good scratch on it, although it's kind of a different color than I normally see. So 
Although, no, no, that's not turning. So let me just, let me just clean this a little bit better because I see a little bit of residue from cleaning it with the tissue paper. And let's just do another scratch test. That's a better. It's still a weird color, but let's test it. And nope, it just disappears right away. So that, even though it's marked 925, that one is not 925. It's still a really cool ring though. Still super cool and it is adjustable. So, oh, oh no, this one, sorry, this one is not adjustable. So this one is a size eight. So that's a really cool size eight ring. And look how pretty that one is. Amazing, absolutely amazing. And then we got one more ring, I think. I got four all together. And this one is kind of like a rough cut stone with two purple stones. And I don't know if the purple stones are amethyst or not. Let's take a look. Um, no, they look like they're glass. And whatever that stone might be. And then this is marked 925. Let's see if this one is any more luck. And this one could be adjustable. This one, this one scratches much. Well, I don't know. Still has that kind of gold tint to it. And nope, this one turns blue. So very blue. So that, that one's a good one. So that is that is definitely 925. So let's take a look here and whether or not for my Presidium, um, this is anything. So this goes all the way up into like Jade Spinel for this piece right here. So, that's kind of an interesting spot. I really know nowhere else. What does, falls back down a little bit into that. Actually, it's at the, well, it could be into the topaz. Could be into the topaz. It could be just very rough, super rough to, topaz. That is really quite cool. But these didn't test as amethyst. Double check it again. I don't think so. Yeah, no, it's just as glass on the bottom. But that is a super cool ring. So those are four rings that I had picked up. I just thought they were cool. Price was right on them. So I just figured I might as well grab them. Um, and then I also got a couple other pieces at this particular um this particular store and this I thought was gorgeous um it's very much like a filigree little pearls and really nice um clasp on it very pretty and I just like that little glass cabochon. I'm sure it is glass. Yeah, that is glass. Very, very pretty little brooch. I just really liked it. Kind of reminds me of, you know, kind of like a check piece or something with that kind of filigree work. Just a really nice little brooch. Um, and then I got cameos because, you know, I can't resist cameos. Um, those of you who watch my channel enough, you know my love for cameos. Um, but look at this one. This one is so pretty. Um, this is some kind of celluloid. It is an older piece. Um, it's got the C-class, but look at the detail on this one. So pretty. 
does need to be cleaned a little bit, but oh, so gorgeous. So I picked up that one. And then this one is amazing. So check this one out. It is the Virgin Mary and it is a shell cameo. This is absolutely unbelievable. This one is marked. I'm not sure what this says. Let's see. S. S eight one one five six one one. What do you guys think? I don't know. I don't see any markings on this. But is that a, is there an, a one or something in front of that S or that five or whatever that is? Let me know what you think. One, one, boy. That's really, really boggling my mind. Oh, it's driving me crazy. If you guys know, let me know. Let's just, let's test it. Uh, see if it's got, if it's silver at all. It might have, like, it might be 800. Boy, there are all kinds of marks on here now. I don't know what I did. Let's do it up at the top. Okay, this is our mark right here. So that's our mark. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Let's see. Nope. It goes away. So could be, it could be a very low grade, like maybe an 800. Um, but that's quite amazing. This is kind of like a wire. Wow. The detail in this is just really pretty and it's a pendant also, but I can't tell what that is. Oh, it's going to drive me crazy. So if anybody has an idea, please, please, please let me know. Um, I think it's really, really cool. Um, other pieces that I got. So other vendor had things in these little baggies. Um, let's see if I can tear them open. So this I thought was cool. It's a little Christmas tree or rhinestone little hat pin. It is missing one little stone that I found, but I just thought it was cute. Little hat pin. So that was fun. Um, and then this piece was another fun one, but it's like a little silhouette of a man and a woman, like kind of in a, like a French type of motif. It's just a lithograph cameo on ceramic. I thought that was super pretty, really cute. Okay, got some scissors. Let's just use scissors on these. Okay, so this is just a double, whoops, a double um, leaf brooch. Tear it off, there we go. Little double leaf brooch with the AB stones. I thought that was really pretty. And there's two of them, so double the fun. Um, it could be like little almost like large size scatter pins or something along those lines. Kind of fun. Um, and 
And then there was this. So these are little cameo earrings. And these are, they're actual, um, they, oh, actually I think these are resin. No, maybe these are carved shell. This might be carved. No, they're resin. Yeah, these aren't carved shell. These are a resin cameo, but these I thought were a really cute little clip ear or um screw back earring. And then there's a matching, uh just a matching little brooch that went with it. And I just thought it was really pretty. Um, I liked, it was just a little bit different than your typical. And uh, so I thought that one was really nice. And this one does not have an open back, but just very nicely done. Very, very nicely done. So very pretty on those. And then over here, we have... This is from, uh, this is actually from the second place that I went to. So this was a Lucite bangle. This knee I need to repair. Um, it's missing some stones, which I can easily repair those. But I just thought this was a really cool bangle um, with the white and then the stones embedded in it. I just thought that was fun. So I just need to repair it. I just thought that was a really great little piece. Um, here's another pair of earrings that I picked up. These are also screw back, but I just really liked the green stone with the gold and they're quite an older style of earring. Um, let's see here if I can get the, the off the card. There we go. Um, so that's the back of it. It's kind of hollowed out on the inside, but it's very almost like Art Deco style. You can see that kind of that profile on there and that it's a really nice setting for that green stone. Just a really pretty style of earring, but these are definitely older. They're not, I think they're definitely maybe like 1940s even. Just a really, really pretty, pretty setting in those, in that, in that pair of earrings. Um, okay, so then we have this necklace. This necklace I absolutely fell in love with. Um, yes, I get a lot of these AB crystal necklaces, but I've never seen one like this. So these have bead caps on one end. They're like, they are... Um, well, it's alternating between a bicone and a round bead. So it has that kind of textural difference and they're different size beads. So kind of a, almost like a smooshed and then a larger. But the bicone is a little bit more of a narrower, narrower bead, if I can talk. Um, and then it's got a bead cap only on one side, which makes it visually look different. Um, and then, at, so we've got a spring ring clasp too. So it goes several beads and then it has this really interesting little spacer here. And then you have that same like equidistance and then the spacer and then the same and then the spacer. I have literally never seen a necklace like this before. It is really stunning and gorgeous and i'm in love with it i am really really in love with it um let's figure out what the length is on this um i it's long i i, I was really excited because it's longer i've never seen anything quite like this um and it being a longer necklace we have it as um it's about 28 inches um, but isn't that just so different, so pretty, but I just loved it with those little spacers like that. And then those bead caps, it's just, it's so different, so unique. You're not going to find anything else like that. That's for sure. Um, and I just thought it was just 
so much fun. Um, what do we have next? I don't even remember what I got. <laughs> oh, here. Yeah, I got a Weiss. A Weiss brooch. So, here it is. So, look at that. It's just a simple Weiss wreath brooch. Um, I guess that would be the top of it. But absolutely gorgeous. It's got the AB stones and then the smaller ABs. And then it is signed Weiss on the back. It's just so pretty. So pretty. I like that one. And you know me, my Weiss. I love pick up anything Weiss that I can. Um, this was another one that I couldn't leave behind um, because I like these older metal flowers and these metal brooches with the, like a single stone. And that's a check glass stone with the copper flower. I just thought that was really a fun piece. It's oversized. It's just really visually interesting. I like the, you know, the embossing on the flower. It's just got some really nice, neat texture in there. Um, and this is an older piece as well. Um, so just really interesting. And that stone is prong set. So it's a little bit later. This isn't like a, a 1930s piece or anything like that. Sometimes you see these metal flowers like this and they're gonna be uh, glued in stones. And a lot of times those are like the 19. 30s pieces. This is a little bit later, um, but it is still a really, it's probably st still maybe 1950s, um, but super cool, super cool piece. And uh, so visually interesting with that texture. Now this one I fell in love with. Now this is an older brooch for sure. Look at that. Look at that stone, the faceting on that green stone, that wave, and this is a heavier piece. There is definitely some wear on the metal, but this is old. This is definitely probably 1930s or, or maybe even early 40s. And how do I know this? Well, I know this most likely, that it's most likely that age because look how far this pin is extending. The pin is really extending far. And then also look at the hinge on here. This hinge is really an earlier hinge. And look at like the, the flatness to that. It's just, an, it's definitely an earlier hinge. If I had something a little bit later, I could probably see the difference. Yeah. So here's a later, here's one of the later pieces. And then here's an earlier piece. You can definitely tell the difference in the hinge. You see, that's definitely, you've got a flatter hinge. You've got more of a mechanism built in. This is a little bit more of an earlier style. But look at how pretty this is. So gorgeous. Really nice faceting on this though. Really, really nice. Has a point on the back. Definitely a pretty piece. All right, next. Oh, here's another one that I fell in love with. This is really interesting. Um, I found this one. Let me just take the tag off because it's kind of big and in the way. All right. No, I got part of it off. All right, so this is, it was gold tone. It's turning almost into a copper. Um, so kind of a cool patina to it. Um, now I've had a lot of similar brooches that have this kind of unique, almost like ribbon effect. But this one I found was different because I've never had one that has cabochons as opposed to like the actual faceted glass. So this is a blue cabochon with the um, crystals around it. And then these are all blue Nevet style cabochons, like the Nevet shaped cabochons. I'm not even sure if that would be the right term for it. Um, and that's the back. And the gold tone is turning more into a copper, 
So it was probably like a gold wash over copper, but just a stunning blue with the clear. And then I kind of like how it looks with that kind of tone to it. Isn't that pretty? I just thought that was just gorgeous. So that was a cool one. Um, then we have, what do we have next? Oh, this one. Now I haven't tested this one for the um, material that's made out of. Definitely, I would say this is a new back to it, but look at, isn't that cool? I think this is a cool piece. This is, this might even be made, like this might be a newer piece than it was created, but these look like old maybe buttons or something. I just thought this was cool. Um, but these are definitely older. These these pieces are older. This might have been created, now that I'm looking at it closer, these almost look like buttons. Buttons that were affixed to this heart. I still think it's super cool though. Isn't that cool? I like that one. All right, next. What is this one? So I got a lot of stuff at the antique store, you guys. I have a lot of fun stuff. Oh yeah, this, this is another cool crystal necklace. So it's a long chain with little crystal beads um, coming down and then it has a tassel at the end with little crystals at the bottom. How fun is that? And it's nice and long. And the length on this one happens to be, um, this one's also 28 inches, not including the tassel. So I just thought that was really fun. Just a simple gold rope chain with little tassels. Gold tone, it's not real gold, of course. Um, and then to the end of the store haul. And this is another cool piece. And that was a really pretty, kind of a filigree piece with a nice C-clasp hinge. And it was just a really, like that stone in the center was such a brilliant cut. I really wanted to see it and let's just test it because it's such a brilliant cut, I wanted to see no, not really moving. For some reason, my my pen's are not moving very much at all with glass. But it is definitely glass because it's cold. Um, and it's brilliant. So I'm not really sure. I'm hoping I don't need a new Presidium, you guys. Oh, there, a little bit of a movement. But weird, it's so weird. Um. This does just look like a tin or something, but it doesn't look like it's silver. But look how, I just think that's super pretty. I just thought it was a cool little bar pin. Um, and then it looks like I have, what, two more, two more packages to open. No, a couple, no, well, there's another one here too. I'll open up this one. This is another one, another one vendor. at this brooch super pretty um oh this one's marked oh it's a listener yeah this is a listener get back to here we go with really pretty black diamond crystals Whew. i wonder if there's supposed to be one in the center I could always put one in there. And looks like the rest of them are all intact. But black diamond and little like citrine. Super pretty. All right. There's that one. And then what's in the last two pieces? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one. 
I need to look this one up because I swear this might be this might be a Weiss. I don't know. But look at that. This is like a little Nevette's Moon Glow and a AB stone, and it's just a perfect little daisy. Um it's so pretty. Look at that. So I had to pick that one up. It was so cute. And then what's in here? Oh, bracelet. Yes, bracelet, bracelet, bracelet. Lucite bracelet um, with the stones. And it's on a stretch sheet. And I just thought that was just so much fun. So I had to grab that. Super cool. All right, so... Let's do uh, the smaller, I guess, the smaller of the two wins. Um, and then we'll get into my big mistake. All right. So, first thing I want, hat pins. So, I get requests for hat pins quite a bit. And um, this was just a little small lot <clears throat> of hat pins. And I thought these were really cute. They're definitely old. Um probably in the Victorian era, but because uh, they're so dang long. Look at how long they are. Um, and this actually, the shell one is the smallest. And uh, so I've had this shell happen. And then this one is just a simple little like glass bead one. And then this one is just a little rhinestone one. And I just thought they were cute. They were just nice. And now if anybody asks if I have hat pins, I do. I have a, a few of them, a couple of them. Um, and then I this other auction, um, same auction, I won a few brooches and some other jewelry. Um, I got this little Christmas wreath, which I thought was really cute and um, a little blingy and getting ready for my little, I'm going to do a Christmas in July sale, I think. Um, oh yeah, sorry. I did have one other, one other jewelry one from the store. I forgot, or jewelry lot from the store. Um, so at the other store, I got this little bracelet. Now this was on, uh, that Willow, the Willow store downtown. I thought that was a really pretty little bracelet. So I picked that one up, kind of like a watercolor cabochon. And then I got this little cloisonne um, painted style. Uh, it's probably more of a painted bead necklace. I thought that was really pretty. And uh, the length on this one is a painted one. Uh, I love the red. The red was really pretty. And the length is 18 inches, so it was a good length too. So um, I just really like that one. And... I just like the colors too. Um, okay, back to that auction line. Um, so this was the other one I won. So this was a necklace that I thought was just really pretty. So it has these little um, hand painted, probably it's probably lithographed actually from a hand painted look. Um, and then it's got this, it's just a really pretty look, link, really pretty style necklace. No marks on this, but, and it's not very long. This is probably only, um, what is this? Probably 16 inches if we're lucky. Uh, yeah, not even. This is 14. 14 inches, well, 15, actually more like 15, 15 to like right there. Um, but yeah, isn't that gorgeous? I love the colors in this. So 15 inches, could definitely put an extender on there though, because it's just a spring ring. So 15 inches and then it does have the matching earrings, which are just super adorable. So I got that, and then this little bar pin, which was just a simple little bar pin, filigree, gold bar pin, super cute, pretty little bar pin, no marks on it. 
And then I really liked this. So this little set was a simple bangle or a simple clamper style bracelet. It looks like it needs to get cleaned up a little bit, um, a little over a degree on the inside. So great little clamper. Um, they said that it needed uh, some repair on the clamper, but it does not look like it does. Um, and I, well, maybe there, but I'll see if I can clean what I can clean up with, um, you know, with the stuff for the verdigree with vinegar. Um, I don't see any marks on this at all, but look at that. Isn't that cute with these little flower beads? Um, and then the earrings. Oh, now the earring, well, it's a screw back. Ooh, screw back is stripped. So probably that's no good anymore. But screw back earrings are super cute, but I could turn that maybe into a pendant or something. Um, or put a different type of back on those earrings. But then it came with these buttons. Um, now on the earrings or on the buttons, some of these are like the little beads are popped off, but boy, you could kind of create like a little pendant or a brooch with these, like a little cluster brooch would be super cute. So that gives you some creativity. So I just thought that was a fun little set. So I got that one. So that was um, one auction. Okay, so the next auction. Um, I bought a set of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bangles. These were sold as jade bangles um i paid 77 dollars for these uh and as jade bangles i tested these with the presidium um and we'll test them i'll show you maybe maybe something happened and they'll suddenly test as jade but highly doubt it um but they are not jade um I thought maybe these lighter ones. I, I had a feeling about a couple, like these two were kind of a weird color. I thought well, maybe not, um, but I really thought some of these would be. See, that one's in like, goes up to about quartz. Um, this one I thought, really thought maybe it was. Um, goes up higher, but not. Not even. Um, I mean, it barely gets even into the, I mean, it kind of gets into nephrite. Could, I mean, it could be nephrite, which is like the lower form of jade. Um, but even so, like, I, I don't know. Now, this, now my question is, is this sterling? But so needless to say, none of these, not one, not one of these are jade. Um, so live and learn. Um, you know, I, it's that's the thing with auctions is that uh, you don't know. But like some of them, usually they'll say, you know, things aren't guaranteed or whatever. Um, but this one, you know, I've been on their stuff before. So I really thought mm, maybe... And they had other ones that were similar that said stone. Now, I don't think that's sterling. Um, and they had other ones that were similar that said bracelets that looked very similar that said stone, not jade, but stone. And I'm like, okay, cool. So the ones that say jade 
must be jade because the, these other ones say stone. And that's going away. So not silver. Um, so the other, you know, so I really had a little bit more confidence in it. Um, but alas, I was wrong and I lost out on money. I mean, can I sell these as quartz bracelets? Absolutely, I can. Um, can I sell them for $10 a piece? I don't think so. <laughs> this one's cracked even. So, you know, I don't know. That one's not even sterling. So, you know, and I'm not gonna lie to people. So, yeah, so unfortunately, those I got scammed on. Very, very upsetting. Um, but the other pieces are pretty cool. Um, so live and learn. Live and learn. Um, so I did pick up these. Uh, this is uh, this is more of an Art Deco-ish looking type of piece. This is. Uh, this is more of like a, a plastic, a, a more of a vintage style plastic. I don't think this is a Bakelite. We can test it, but I don't think it is. Um, I don't know if I have a, I probably use a, one of these. Um, so, I don't think it is, but let's take a look. So I'm using Simicron. And no, it's still pink. So not Bakelite, just a plastic. Probably a little bit of an older plastic. I don't even think it's celluloid, to be honest, from the feel of it. I don't think it's celluloid. Now this one is celluloid. I can tell, I can feel it. Um, it almost even looks like a carved bone, but I think it probably is more like a celluloid, but that one's a really pretty piece too. Um, so I got both of these brooches, very cool brooches. Um, this is what I really couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, I mean, that was like, it went for like the, I was like the only bidder on those, so I couldn't resist those. Um, but these, oh my gosh, I was in a bidding war for these because these, well, I was in a bidding war for the jade too, but, oh, look at these. These are celluloid, um, and I... I probably paid too much because I know the re resale value on these are not as much as one would think, but are they not just gorgeous? These are carved celluloid. Um, so I have this one with the roses and I don't even know what kind of flowers these are. Little I forgot what those are called. Bluebells or whatever. I don't know. That blue. This one with the daisies. This one's a little bit smaller. It has the daisies. Oh, so pretty. This one is a little bit more vibrant. It's a little wider, too. So pretty. that. Oh, this one has a lotus. I almost should keep this one. I have a lotus tattoo. Oh, so pretty. Is that a crack? I don't know if that's a crack or not. It doesn't, if it is, I kind of, I kind of see it on the back, but I don't know. Maybe I'll have to keep it because, you know, I don't want anybody to get upset because, you know, that. And it is a lotus. So, oh, see this one too. That's okay. I mean, these are old. But, there we go. So pretty. 
beautiful carved celluloid. Beautiful carved celluloid bracelets. So I had to have them. Um, had to have these. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous carved celluloid. Um, oh, here's another. Maybe I had eight or nine. I don't know how many I counted. But that's another one. That, that one I didn't think was actually jade either. But... Um, but this, this lot I was happy with, um, I got a whole bunch of cloisonne, um, bracelets and I am a huge cloisonne person. Some of these are not cloisonne, but they're just kind of an ethnic looking, uh, bracelet. It's, it's overstuffed with cloisonne. Um, I think there's like, I don't even know. There's a lot. So a couple of these are not cloisonne, but they they are kind of a cool bracelet. Um, but there's this one and this one. So this green one. Neither one of these are cloisonne. Or I would not. Well, this one does have that kind of look to it almost. But well, maybe that would be considered a cloisonne. It's kind of cool. This first one definitely not. That's definitely not cloisonne. Second one could kind of be considered cloisonne. It's a cool bangle. But these are really nice. And they're the round, all the way around. These are very vintage, absolutely gorgeous cloisonne pieces. That red one is gorgeous. This one is pretty. This one has the, the brass on the inside. It is stamped in Chinese. This one's really pretty. This one is um, done all the way around. Oh, that, look at that. Oh, that's gorgeous. Mm, pink, done all the way around. So, so, so pretty. And then we have this one. That's an interesting kind of look too. And is this one stamped on the inside? Oh, this one, I think it's stamped India. I just see D-I-A, but I bet you that's India. So that's actually probably not a cloisonne, but more of like a um, inlay, maybe? I have to look at that one closer. It's definitely interesting. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. And that's got it all the way around. Absolutely beautiful. This one, I bet you, is Indian as well. So it's probably, yep, India. India, right there. If you can see it, India. Super pretty. Ooh, look at this wide one. Oh, look at the colors in this. So absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is an amazing bracelet right there. Oh, wow. I love that. I love that one. That's gorgeous. Uh, oh, this one's pretty too. Oh, wow. It's like cherry blossoms or something, I think. Wow, that one's cool. Oh, now this is a Champlevé. So this is more of a, like, in relief. Um, that is really, really, really pretty. That is done very nicely. And Champlevé has, like, there's more of a textural look to it. Um, and maybe I'll have to do a video on the difference between Champlevé and Cloisonne. And, um, but it's like a deeper ridge. It's a deeper fill um, for the enamel. And so it ends up looking like it's more of a texture. That's a really pretty one. And then there's this one, the white. That is gorgeous. Oh, here's another really wide one. Look at the colors in this one. This one's another one that's really pretty. Wow, look at that. We're almost done here. And then there's this black one. 
with the little blossoms. These do remind me of cherry blossoms, but I'm not sure if they are. And this little white one, a little thin one. These would be really pretty all stacked up, wouldn't they? And then that one, that's pretty. Very pretty. And then last one, boy, got a lot of jewelry. Good haul today, don't you guys think? Well, that's pretty too. Very pretty. Yeah, that's the last one. So it's too bad about the jade. Very upset about the jade. But other than that, you know, I would say everything else was very successful. Um, let me know what you think. What's your favorite piece? Um, what did you think about the the little the thrift with me at the beginning? Did you did you have fun with that? And um, I hope to see you guys on the next video. And don't forget, I have um, vintage lives, vintage jewelry lives uh, on Thursdays, every Thursday at 7 p.m. And I am moving my clearance sales. All my clearances will now be on Wednesdays at 8 p.m. So please join me for uh, vintage lives on Thursdays at 7 and clearance sales Wednesdays at 8. So I can't wait to see you on the next one and love you all. We'll see you later. Bye.